Like Australia Post and Letters, the problem of delivering cash around the nation has increased as the volume has declined. Last year, the competition watchdog waved through a merger between the delivery system's two top operators to try and keep the sector alive. This submission from an Armaguard boss explains some of the problem. When cash was king, the company was regarded by business as a partner that created value by outsourcing better technology and staff not needing to touch the money. They're now regarded as a cost to be minimised. And with the volume of cash continuing to decline, the cost of keeping notes and coins in the till will go up. On commodity markets, iron ore fell again. The price of our magic rocks is down by about a quarter since the start of the year, but it's still above 100 US dollars a tonne. On the stock markets, the key Dow Jones index in the US, where you can buy a bit of McDonald's, Visa or Boeing, had its best single day this year. Another index that only covers 30 big companies but is kind of a marker of the nation's economy is India's BSE Sensex index in Mumbai. It's up 28% this year, a bit like what's happened to Japan's Nikkei index. Our broader index, the All Ordinaries, covers the fortunes of 500 companies. It's lifted almost 13% in value over the past 12 months, inching a bit more today before it takes a break. Whereas the currency market went nowhere. It put on the out of office notification at the start of the day, already had the car packed and it's probably watching this from its beach house. And that's finance.